Hello everybody. I decided to vlog today because I feel like I wanted to share with you guys some things that have been happening, okay? And it has to do with this whole health that I'm on, right? This health quest that I'm on it has to do with health. M you know, my mental health and uh, and physical, physical health and all this stuff. I had recorded this already, part of it, and again, too long, too, too long. But in the middle of that video, I'm going to put a little clip here for you. I had a hot flash. I had a hot flash. I'm going to show you. Okay, I think you're gonna be able to see the difference in my face. I'll, put, I'll move over so you could see, but I was red or getting red. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Um, so a little backtrack. So Sunday I made a video, I did a Let's Talk video. And in that video, which was December 3rd, I had said that, um, well, by the way, today is Thursday, December 7th, 2023. It's around 12, late, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it all. And, and the reason why I want to vlog and, and vlog my emotions and feelings and, and what's going on right now. Um, but in that video, I had told you guys that I'm going to be headed to uh, a retreat this weekend. I was invited by my girlfriend, my very best friend since third grade. And it was something that I wasn't going to do because on the 10th is uh, the anniversary, three, third year anniversary of my mom's passing. But anyway, I decided to go ahead and go. And, um, this is me being plugged into life okay this is me not saying no um, this is me saying come on go ahead do this you need this it'll be nice to be with your girlfriend you know, this is like my sister um this is the first time we're going to be getting away um and it's all to be enriched in the lord you know that to me is a win-win you know and it's being plugged in. And so, um, and I'll be very honest, this is not something that in recent years I, I would ever do. I may agree to it and say, oh yeah, but I would already be out, done. I've already come up with the reason to not do this. So let's talk about it. I am somebody who does not like to do things last minute, okay? I'm, I'm not the person that likes to get to church right on time. I'm, I'm not, okay? I really, really, I like to have everything ready because I really am. That's part of stress, relieving stress, right? That's part of it is to prepare. It helps me, you know, in my, in my whole quest to reduce stress in my life. And I do it in any way that I can. So, um, I'm not packed. And for me, I should have already been packed. So let me talk about what happened. First things first, the plan was my girlfriend was supposed to pick me up and we were off, right? I was just going to go for the ride, go for the, go for the relaxation of it. Um, yes, it is stressful within itself just because of who I am, but I was really looking forward to it. The other thing too, is that I am on a keto, keto diet. So this is going to be really the first time where I am not going to be in control of the food. You know, I can't take food. I can't, I have to um, maneuver that, right? And so there's just some things that, you know, I'm going to be put in a position where I haven't been. But okay, I, I'm plugged into life as I say it. I am plugged in. So my girlfriend calls me, I, I don't know when it was, Monday? Monday night, I believe. And, um, change of plans. I have to drive myself. It's about with traffic, it would be about an hour away. Uh, approx it depends on the traffic. No traffic won't be that long, but nevertheless, um, in the big, 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 big scheme of things, that's not a big deal in the big scheme of things. It's not, but for me, it is. Now I drive, I, I don't have anxiety driving or anything like that. It, I'm, it's not about that. It's about now I have to go find where this place is at. She tells me it's hidden to call her when I get closer. Now that's my out. That's my out. That's already, that's already pushing it. That's my out. And, um, 
I was like, you know, with her, I was like, oh, okay. You know, something came up with her. It happens. These things genuinely happen. So, um, I was starting already to process my brain into it out, how to get, how to get out of it. All right. So there's that. Okay. Pause on that. The other thing that happened was I had mentioned in that video that I did Sunday that on Friday, December 1st, in the personal relationship that I'm dealing with, that things got stressful, but it was a wonderful outcome. And, um, but wounds were opened up and things like that. And again, I am somebody who is sensitive to stress because I've had chronic stress my whole life, seriously. And so the goal in all of this is to reduce stress. So I thought that my body on Sunday, uh, Saturday night into Sunday, it was, I was feeling very anxious and I thought maybe it was just the whole thing, you know, all of this changed like the situation that happened there. Um, and then me going, I just thought that it was just subconsciously, it was kind of weighing on me, right? As excited as I am with these two things happening, it's still very challenging. Okay. So excuse me, Sunday night, I had a little difficult sleeping, some anxiousness. I had to turn on the ceiling fan. My husband's like, are you okay? And anyway, move into Monday. Um, things were getting worse. Um, I did work out. I did really, really good with my strain training, with my food. Everything was good, but I was just feeling this anxiousness. Um, I was crying for things, um, cried about mom. You know, I thought, well, you know, it's, it's hard still, but normal, I thought, you know, and, and I just was very sensitive to things. And I don't know, guys, things were starting to really get on way on me. Come Tuesday, um, I started getting a little bit of headaches. Um, the anxiety really started amping up. I'm thinking to myself, I'm just going to call my girlfriend and say, I'm done. I, I can't, I can't, this is too much. I can't. I'm already supposed to be packing. I got my suitcases. I got things out because I don't like last minute stuff, you know, and um, it wasn't happening. So I worked out. Um, I, I was having cravings. So I, and I said to myself, oh my goodness. So I wanted sugar. Like I wanted, um, well, not sugar per se, but I wanted there. We have some muffins downstairs uh, from Costco and I don't, I don't care. I don't care to have them at the to me, you can have a cake in the, in the refrigerator. You could have pastries out. I don't care. It is not going to affect me. I, um, was realizing that I was becoming more like, um, screw this, right? For lack of a better word. I was just like, I just, my defenses were really starting to go down. So, um, I did a lot of movement on Sunday or I'm sorry, this is Tuesday. I did a lot of movement. I did my work cardio workout in the middle of my cardio workout. I was having hot flash after hot flash Tuesday had uh, Monday. I had hot flashes Sunday. I had hot flashes. Some of them were like, Oh, really gripping hot flashes. Um, like you saw, I had one right now. And, um, anyway, I went to go take a shower Tuesday night and that's when I, undressed my breasts were extremely tender and then I started cramping and then it hit me I said oh you're dealing with PMS that's what you have PMS symptoms it all made sense the cravings the headache oh by the way we're going to talk about Wednesday yesterday the headaches the light headaches the anxiety and it wasn't like massive anxiety but it was just anxiousness um, the crying, the overthinking, all of that stuff, all of that stuff. Um, it all made sense to sleep, but we'll talk about yesterday was crucial for me because it was the worst. I woke up with a migraine, really bad migraine. My breasts were hurting so bad. And so there's that. I, I understood what it was. Um, I did not fall off my keto bore diet. I did not. I'll put numbers here. I did not exercise. No way with the migraine. Talk about a challenge this week with a bunch of stuff. So back to this trip, I was, I was done. I was ready to call her and say, you know what? 
I can't, I can't do this and come up with something. Today I finally feel like myself. Like I feel all the anxiousness just went away and I feel like, okay, let's get done everything. I gotta do my hair today, dye my hair, do my nails, pack, um, edit a little bit, <laughs> exercise today. I didn't exercise yesterday, strain train today. It's a lot to get done. It's already like what, 1230, but it's all good. I'm going to do what I can, but main thing is I need to get this stuff packed. And that is it. That's what happened. <laughs> All right, guys, I need to get going. Um, I do have my workout clothes on. So I might do a little walking right now. No, actually, I'm not. I got my suitcase out here. I got a couple pieces out here, my makeup thing. Um, yeah. And the other thing, too, about me is that I get overwhelmed with packing. I'm that overpacker. Uh, and I always feel like I need to pack this, 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 and this, like everything, because just in case. And in my brain, like in my mind, I have to pack for a week. And then I, I am like, Laura, Laura, you're only going to really be there two nights and two days, really, because I leave late in the evening or late afternoon Friday and I come back early evening Sunday. So... <clears throat> Minimal, minimal packing. So I'm trying on some clothes for um, what to wear for Sunday for mass because we go to mass together. And uh, so I'm kind of going into my closet to see if I can wear any of the tops that didn't fit me before. And I thought maybe I could try something like that. This is one of them that fit me. It fit me, but I was kind of tight in it. Uh, and now it's a possibility to take, I think, but it's the pants. It's the pants. Uh, this is the third pair of pants that I've tried on and they fit me um, too big in, in my opinion. Even my I went downstairs and my daughter's like, mom, those pants are too big. So let me show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's black, so let me see. All right, don't mind my bathroom. <laughs> anyway, um, so these are the pants. Um, it's from here that I'm starting to have, oops have trouble from here. This is okay. So it's my apron to thigh ratio. That is not, it's not good. And um, because they're like this now, I'm stepping on them. Uh, and I really didn't want to wear wedge heels. Like I'm trying not to pack too, too much. Anyway, um, this is the third pair of pants. See, you see that? That I I've have on that fit me like this. The top is fine. Um, this is one that, well, it's actually fit me a little bit big, but but overall, I think it's okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my goodness. So that's my dilemma right now. Um, it's just trying to get my Sunday outfit. Once I get that, everything else is fine. And I really wanted to wear black because I figured I could, you know, matches with my sweaters and anything, my top. But I think even this top is probably too big. I don't know. Kind of, I don't know. Okay, let me go figure it out. But I'm It's gonna... turning into a whole adventure. <sighs> okay. <laughs> this is something. It Okay. <laughs> I don't need to do this. I don't. Okay. If I would have shown you my closet, like the everything, my closet was a mess already because I started going through clothes here and there, here and there, here and there as I'm losing weight. And so what happens is I try something on and then I set it to the side because I'm going to show you guys later or I haven't quite made a decision on it. For instance, this, this top. Oh, hold on a minute. Someone's here. UPS man. Okay. What I was saying is that, oh, I was showing you that top, things like this. I bought this a long time ago. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. And back then I would buy things like this because my arms and belly ratio, you know, I, I yeah. So now it's my thighs and my apron ratio. It's It gets hard, but I have something up in here. I know I do. Anyway, this is going bye-bye. It's just, just a top. I have some jeans down here. All I'm looking for really honestly right now is a pair of jeans. I just gonna take one and then 
my my uh, outfit for uh, Sunday mass. That's it. That's all I'm looking came for. Across this top, and I shared it. I think I shared it in a in a haul. I'll put the haul here. But uh, it's a Lauren Conrad. I love Lauren Conrad clothes. I love her style of jewelry, her clothing. Not everything, but for the most part, I, I love it. Um, this would have been perfect to wear. Um, but this is a Lauren Conrad extra large. I've worn it in a video before. Um, I think it was a get ready with me video. Um, and this is too big. This one is actually too big. So this is another one that's going to go out of my closet. Um, but this one I definitely could sell because there is a market for Lauren Conrad in my store. But yeah, I just wanted to share that now that I'm in here. This is something I was going to do anyway with you guys. Um, I don't have time for it today, but we're going to go through it. I had a mess in my closet. It was a mess because like I would try things here and there and yeah, it's just, it's just a mess, but we're going to get through some of it. Anyway, this one's going to be sold. I love Lauren Conrad though. I know I'm not trying them on guys and typically I would so you could see, but um, I had a gray one like this with a little bit of cream in there. It was a gray. I wore it for, um, I actually bought it. I'll put the link here for that one too. I bought it for when I went to Utah. I did a little bit of shopping when I went to Utah last year and one of the things that I bought were these flannels. These are extra large from Old Navy and I bought two of them to take with me on my trip. And uh, I recently wore the other one the other day and it was really, really big. And two things, you know, my daughter said, well, you can wear more like a jacket, uh, a shacket, right? Like a shirt jacket because it is flannel. It is thicker. I don't want to wear it like a shacket. I have plenty of jean jackets that I can do that with. And, um, yeah, this one's going bye bye too. So I just wanted to share that uh, with you. So it's this flannel and the other one's already washed because I wore it. It's already washed. I'm going to donate them. So there's that. Okay, this is another one that's leaving. One more. This is one that I showed recently. I don't remember the haul, but I did share it. I said it's a casual for around the house. Um, but the arms are really, really short on this one. And it's a very, very low neck. Another thing. And quite frankly, I don't care for it. And this was at the time when I was buying these. Uh, it was just to try to find things that I can fit into. But I'm surprised that I really, really bought it because of the arms. Uh, it was a lot worse when I bought it, my arms. So uh, this is going bye-bye. It's just, I'm never going to pull it. I got it at the thrift store. So here's another one that's going bye-bye. This one here is Lauren Conrad XXL. Love this top. Love it. I bought it at the thrift, the Goodwill. I bought it at the Goodwill. Um, I did share it with you guys, but this is the type of top that I love, but it is too big. This is an XXL, but I don't really want something that makes me look bigger. So let me show you. So it's just... It's so boxy, you know? It's very, very pretty. Um, I'm gonna inspect it a little bit better. Um, see if there's any snagging or anything like that. Um, otherwise it's gonna go on my store. But in some areas, it fits me okay. Like, I feel like, okay, I, I feel good. And then in other areas, it's just, it's too poxy. You know what I mean? So, yeah, let me go ahead and take this off and put in my donation pile. Now, this one is an L, E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Uh, I bought it at the thrift. Extra large, but it's too short. It's too short for me. Stay alone till midnight. I got my complaints. Nothing doesn't feel right. And I'm not wearing it. I'm not because it is short. I'm not picking it up. I'm not wearing it. So that one's going bye bye too. This is turning into something I wanted to do with you guys. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for weeks with you guys. But anyway, I need to get to the pants. We got to get packing. Okay. One more. I was getting toward the end here. This is a uh, X1X. Uh, this is my sports bra. But um, 
Let me show you. I don't like it because, first of all, no, I don't like it. I like this. This is good. I, it's fine. I'm fine. Um, but it's so big from here, and I don't like the way it fits around my, yeah, it's just not flattering. Why did I buy it? And I bought this at TJ Maxx. I'm going to see if I can sell it. We'll see. <laughs> so, these pants. See, what I'm trying to do is I'm, wear, I'm trying to wear black pants that are not to the ankle or pants that are to the ankle. I want to wear straight, straight leg pants. So, um, these, you're going to remember these. I'm going to put you down here in a minute. Some of you might. These are size 16, Lane Bryant, straight leg, trouser, and I bought them at the Goodwill, and I did make a video. I still have the Goodwill tag on there. You're going to see. And um, they fit at the time. But I needed to lose a little bit of weight, I think it was. Let me show you. I tightened up my shirt. These are the Lane Bryant. I still have the Goodwill tag on them. Still do. I showed these to you guys. Um <sighs> And the thing of it is, is that I lost a lot of weight in my thigh and I lost a lot of buttocks fat here. So this is why the apron to thigh ratio, butt ratio, it's, it's off. So a lot of these types of pants are not fitting me anymore. Oh my gosh. And these are straight leg. There's no way, no way. Honest to goodness, as far as straight leg pants, I, I pretty much went through all of them. I have another one I can try. I don't think it's a straight leg. Um, and the thing of it is, is because of the shoes. You know, I, I didn't want to wear... I want to be comfortable. I'm going to have to wear my flats. Like I said, I, a lot of the things that I have in terms of dressier pants and things that I've been wearing to mass is uh the the the, um, the ones that I showed you earlier the very first ones which I put over there to donate and then these I'm going to sell but the thing of it is is that a lot of them are cropped they're ankled or cropped I wore them with sandals to church like a heel like a wedge tail sandal or something like that um and if I was going to mass here in, in my parish uh then I can wear my wedges, some that I can only wear to like church and maybe a couple stores and then that's it. But I don't know what happens, you know, and I don't want to be in my, my shoes all day like that. Now the wedge heels I have are fine. It's just, you know, I don't know. I just, I want to be comfortable. I don't want to worry about anything. So matching the shoes that I have to the pants that I have and with <laughs> It's becoming a whole thing, guys. And it's because I am losing weight. And so the, I, it, a lot of these I haven't tried on since the 20-pound weight loss. So there's that. And I and I want to go get a walk-in right now. So let me try on a few more and I'll be back. By the way, yeah, Lane Bryant, 16s. 16s. No, brand new. Brand new. So, yeah, I'm going to go put this in my um, eBay store pile. This is one that I recently bought at the thrift. Um, and I have other pair of pants that are this brand. And I really, really liked them. So when I saw these black ones there at the thrift, maybe a month ago or so. I don't think I ever showed you, though. Um, I bought them. And they're extra large. So And I like it because it's just a waist like this. It's like a trouser. So let me go ahead and try these on. And I'm hopeful for these. I think we have a possibility here. Definitely. Um... Shows my apron a little bit more, but that's okay because I can, I have tops I can go over at. Let me show you. So this is fine. This is okay. I, I prefer this, believe it or not, because like I said, I could wear a top over it. Um, they're not straight leg though, but I think that's going to be it. They're tapered, really tapered. Um, 
And I have some flats I can wear. This is what you got me say, You guys want to know something? I need to start trying on my shoes too. Oops, sorry guys. I need to start trying on my shoes. These are big. Lauren Conrad. I love Lauren Conrad, I tell you. Um, these are a size medium. Nine. Nine. So I got these when I was really really big or 20 pounds heavier yeah they are i'm swimming in them i really am like got my foot but if it's just for mass they are big honestly oh my goodness i walk and the back comes off yeah they're coming off <laughs> This is why I don't like packing the day before. This is why I like having everything settled, you know, but gosh, that darn PMS. <laughs> so I think I got the black pants. I got the jeans. Got to coordinate. I don't know if I can wear those long Conrad shoes. I really don't. I really don't. I really, really don't. I'm, I'm going to have to take my wedges. I have a couple. I have a, I have a couple. It's like you're I'm in between. Okay. 145. Okay. So, we are doing good. We're doing good. It's uh let's see what time it is. 2:15. So, I want to I want to do a little bit of a walk. It's it's a little bit of a cardio, but it's only 20 minutes. So, I feel like I need that, especially cuz I didn't work out yesterday. Anyway, I want to show you these are my going to go into my store. So this is what we got to go to my store. So let me bring the donation pile. Here's donations. So you didn't see this shirt is going bye bye. This sweater going about too short. I, I don't know why I bought this. I bought this at the Goodwill. Um, I've had this one for at least at least ten years. Um, jeans, pants that are too big. Yeah, this is a donation. Yep. Okay. Right awake, I can't get why I can't go tell you. Then I start to remember those late nights, arguments in December. Burn my soul out, and that's why I can't tell you how I feel, cause you'll break me down to pieces. I can't do this, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, so it is 622 in the evening and um, I wasn't going to do this evening workout. This is like my actual workout. I wasn't going to do it because um, I still got to dye my hair and my husband's going to dye my hair for me. Help me. So I started to think, okay, so just it's okay if I don't work out. Right. And he's downstairs um, talking to my daughter and uh, I came up here. So I started to get my soaker for my toes because I'm going to soak my toes um, and, and do my nails. Um, and so I started to kind of get undressed and stuff. My husband comes in and he says, why are you, you're not going to work out? And I said, no, it's okay. Cause we still got to do the hair and I'm going to do my nails and do my toenails and stuff like that. And he's like, no, you can do it. You can do it. Just, 
go ahead and do it. And I'm like, but it's going to get later. And he's like, it's okay. We got this. We got this. So I'm like, okay, but I don't know if I have energy. <laughs> I'm going to muster it up here. All right, guys. So we're going to do it. I have about, let me see, 7,800 steps right now. And we'll see 7,800 steps. I already had dinner. I'm kind of thinking I may have a protein shake later. I'm not sure. I may, I may, because um, at least half. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Everything's under control. I'm feeling really, really good. Let's go ahead and do this. We are gonna do weights today, strain training, because it's not technically a strain training day today. It was yesterday, but remember I told you about yesterday, so that was rough. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna record, at least not the cardio. I'll try to do a little bit of the strain training, so. I got no complaints, nothing doesn't feel right. Every time you call me, I don't wanna keep you waiting. Why don't you hold me? Cause this is what you got me saying. <laughs> This is what you got me say, yeah. This is what you got me say, yeah. This is what you got me say, yeah. Call me. This is what you got me say, yeah. Call me. This is what you got me saying. Lady, I don't mind staying up till midnight. I got no complaints, nothing doesn't feel right. Every time you call me, I don't wanna keep you waiting. Why don't you hold me? Cause this is what you got me saying. This is what you got me saying. This is what you got me saying. This is what you got me this is what you got me saying. Call me. This is what you got me saying. Call me. This is what you got me saying. Okay, it's done. I did it. This is sweat. You see that? You see the outline of the sweat? Hope so. I hope so. Um, okay, that's it for right now, guys. I want to walk around a little bit. 115 beats per minute is my heart rate, so I will be... Good morning. Good morning. Friday, 9.30 in the morning. It is D-Day. <laughs> uh, my husband dyed my hair yesterday. I got to go wash it, though, but he dyed it. I have a little bit... Of, I put a little bit of water to tame the frizz. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So today I leave for the, my retreat, or the retreat... I pretty much got everything go. My pillowcase washed, washed my pillowcase. Uh, got sheets in that suitcase. I got a big, thick, thick blanket. A thick blanket. I could have done everything in that suitcase. I wouldn't have to have a little extra one. Anyway, I'll show you later. But uh, bit, I had to try to get a thicker blanket because she, my girlfriend, was like, "Actually, bring two blankets if you can." And I'm like. You know, I so I just took a thick blanket. Yeah, it was my mom's. It was my mom's. So <laughs> anyway, uh, we are going to work out this morning. Um, what I'm going to do, which I'm really excited. I went to the calendar, December calendar with improved health. That's what I'm doing. I follow the ca calendar for the cardio and I follow the calendar for the strength training portion of it. And um, it's actually this cardio is the same one that I did yesterday 
earlier on in the day, the one you saw, that's what's scheduled for today. And I was like, yes, because I love that one. And then the, the strength training, I got my weights out already. We're going to do, I'm going to be doing the same one I did last night. Uh, with the strength training is in the month. So beginner three, that's where I'm at. Uh, the first two weeks, it's every other day for the first two weeks. It's the same workout. Second half of the month, you do a, a different one every other day for two weeks. So that's why it's going to be the same. Anyway, let me get going. I'm not going to record anything. Let me get going and um, I'll see you when I get back. Yes, because I did uh, map it out where I have to drive. We're, her, her, we're going to her parish and then from there. But where she mapped it out, it's going to take me an hour and 10 minutes to get there. No traffic. With traffic going to L.A.? gonna be intense at the time that I'm leaving is not it's coming the opposite way so I shouldn't hit traffic but it's been a long time since I've driven in Los Angeles you know <laughs> so we'll see we'll see the traffic <laughs> anyway let's get this done let's do this um yeah okay so I'm like oh I want to show you this I know what I wanted to do I wanted to show you my top it's a 1x I used to wear it um I think this is going to be the last day I can I'm gonna wear it but look So, yeah, I could tie it back and I could do a lot of things, you know, to make it more fitted. But, you know, I, I got plenty and to grow into. So, it's a good thing. This is 1X, so. Okay. Okay, we saw the luggage, right? So, I said to myself, minimalist. Minimal. You don't need a lot. It's, it's a very casual gathering. The only thing I said I'm worried about is do we get to go get dressed for mass? What's, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm prepared. So <laughs> I'm getting my makeup together. Uh, talked to my girlfriend last night. I said, hey, do I take a blow dryer, curling iron? She's like, yeah, yeah. Take a blow dryer, take your curling iron, take your makeup, take your toiletries, take, make sure you bring a blanket, make sure you get an extra sweater, uh, beanie if you need it, da, 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 da. If you're like a really cold person, I'm thinking, oh my goodness. Okay. Now she's been to these before. In fact, she's been to the place where she's going. Like I said, it's a totally different uh, diocese for me. So I don't know her diocese. Like it's like a, over an hour away. But anyway, um, point is is that I was really thinking of making myself sim making it simple don't stress M you don't need all the makeup that I do all the time you know when I have time to do it no hair products other than a little bit of hairspray and a little thing of serum and somebody is sawing outside right when I get on hold on a minute uh, point is guys what I'm trying to say is that I really 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 went very minimal the jeans that I have on are the jeans that I'm going to wear for tomorrow, just a different top. I really went very minimal. Um, and yet, <laughs> I feel like I took a lot. I don't know. We'll see. The only reason why it's like that, I, I could have got away easy with the suitcase, is because we're taking our sheets for the bed, our blanket, our own towel, which I would have took anyway pillow you know instead of just taking like a pillowcase you know i have to do the whole pillow anyway we'll see how this all goes um even my jewelry i did minimal i did these little ones and then i have one for mass and that's it I, I, it's honestly i really thought what we're going for and you know, don't be the overpacker that I've always been. You know, don't you don't need to do all that. This is not about, you know, going out. And, and this is just about being with God, being in the Lord. And, um, you know, getting to know new people. Getting to see my girlfriend and be with her finally on a weekend, you know, for a whole weekend. And her sister. So, yeah, that's what it's about. And I'm excited. I'm excited. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> 
So I'm here to end the vlog, my little mini vlog. And um, it is Monday, December 11th, 2023, and it's about noon time. I woke up late, to be honest, I woke up late. I had a good night, but then again, I didn't have such a good night. It was weird. It was just overwhelming, I think it was. It, it's it's overwhelming when you share what we I've shared this past weekend and all the emotions and all the crying and hugging and dancing. And it was just very emotional. And something I I I have gone to a retreat, you know, I've gone to the marriage enrichment retreat and this is a little bit different. This is about your faith. And so we basically focused a lot on um, testing of the faith and, and mainly that comes from suffering, right? Suffering, suffrage, and, and all we have to endure in this world. So Anyway, um, I'm still very overwhelmed about it and I'm pondering a lot. I just been crying this morning. I've already talked to my girlfriend and the reason why my girlfriend could not drive with me and go with me is because she was on the committee. She was part of it. And surprise, oh, was I surprised when I saw her and I got there, I'm all looking for her and she comes out and she has like the Christmas things and the antlers and the lights and she's squawking with some other girl who has the same attire. And I said, hi. And she's like, hello. And I said, surprise. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was on my own. Uh, a little awkward at first because I didn't know anybody. A lot of, a lot of the called us candidates um, knew, you know, either went with a sibling or um, was from the parish, so they knew other people and stuff. But I did not know anybody at all, at all. <laughs> um, so it was a little awkward at first, but it soon it soon changed to family, you know, it was, it was, it was nice. Anyway, um, I will say this when it comes to my health quest here on YouTube and how it relates to me, as far as the food, we're going to have a weigh in. I did weigh in this morning. Um, I'll talk about the food challenges because it's part of this, but as far as the stress and things, it was a lot, it was a lot of stress, um, because there was a lot of emotion, um, we got to, we were assigned right the very first night. I mean, like right away we were assigned a family, what they called a family. We did everything together. Minus, um, we had one gentleman with us. Um, and so we had a name, our family and our family name was, um, faith plus one and plus one because he was the only guy on the, on the, on the, um, family. Anyway, we did everything. We ate together. We ate as a family together, um, we would have slept near each other, but he had to sleep in his quarters, <laughs> but we were actually assigned purposely. I didn't know this when I first got there, we, I was taken to the dorm and, um, you know, there was names on the walls. And, and then when I got back to the room, we were all sleeping like four, you know, like right there. So we pretty much slept together. We ate together as a table. We always did. When we went to mass, we sat in the same pew right next to each other. Uh, any activities, we were always, always together as a group um, because they want you to bond with your family. And then also they let us mingle around a lot too so we can get to know the other tables and the other family. But it was good that I did it. It was hard. <laughs> it was hard. Not, I mean, it was, it was really ran like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, we were up at six. <laughs> we had enough time, you know, some people took a blow dryer and then they had one blow dryer going and then they just didn't, you know, that one person let like everybody <laughs> use the blow dryer and, um, lights out were like lights out, you know, and some people were still in the shower and they called out in there. You got five minutes <laughs> and oh my goodness, my hair was like this the entire time. It was pinned up. I had minimal makeup, but it wasn't like you had time in my mind. You were going to have time to get ready. And when I would tell my girlfriend, I would say, Hey, 
do I take a blow dryer? Do I take a curling iron? Like she was like, well, take your blow dryer. And she was very, very vague. And I was, I was like, why is she like that? You know? <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, it didn't matter how you look. Trust me. It was so funny. There was jokes being said, like, did I even put my deodorant on? I don't even know if I had time. And it was just so funny. So the first night, you know, there was just a lot of snack sandwich and I was really, really hungry because I had the protein shake. That was the last thing that I had. And it was around what, 1.30, 2 o'clock. And I was really hungry and I was really trying. I was very nervous. I was overwhelmed. And um, eventually I caved and I had, I didn't cave like that. I mean, I, had, I wanted to eat. I needed to eat. So I had their soup. It was a chicken noodle soup, but it had like carrots and things, which is fine. That is no problem. No problem. Um, I'm not, yeah. And, um, my girlfriend was like, cause she was serving and she was like, here, try these, try these. And I was like, you know, but I was really hungry and my stress was sort of high. So, um, anyway, I had, um, a soup, a small little bowl of soup with a little bit of, I don't know what kind of bread it was, maybe French. Um, I don't know what. I can't tell what kind of bread it was, but it was, I don't think it was sour. Maybe, no, it wasn't sourdough. Anyway, just a roll, but not a roll roll. You know what I mean? Um, and then my girlfriend put the, the cookie on me and I thought, okay, okay, okay. So, and then I soon realized, you know, Laura, you're not going to have control, but you can control how much you eat. And that's just pretty much what I said to myself. And so I, they served lasagna and I really didn't want the lasagna, guys, because of the tomato. I knew it was going to hurt my stomach, and it sure did. <laughs> but I had to eat. Uh, they served it with uh, a salad. Another thing that really irritates my stomach, I did take away the tomatoes. Um, <laughs> and for breakfast, they had like um, cereal, um, sugary cereals. Um, I, I thought maybe I'll just get the Cheerios. But then they ended up serving, um, they let us know that if we could have the cereal, but we were going to have a, like a hot lunch, a hot breakfast, but it was eggs, which the eggs is fine. No problem. But they had it like in a muffin. You know what I mean? It almost looked like a quiche kind of. So it had zucchini in there. It had different um, vegetables in there. And I thought that's okay. It's my last night and my last day. <laughs> if I have stomach issues, hopefully it'll be when I get home. <laughs> so that was a worry guys. Cause it's, it's hard when you don't. When you have stomach issues like that, um, somebody there was diagnosed with IBS and they found it hard too. Um, and it, but it's hard. I mean, those are things that you just have to work with and, and do your best. And I did my best. The other thing that I started to get really, really sleepy because the very first night, no one really slept. We were at, you know, we did activities till like one in the morning, the very first night. Uh, Friday night into Saturday morning and then we were woken up at six and nobody really slept and then we I had to take a shower it was just crazy but um well it, every ta every family you know table um, they had a bunch of candy like if the candy went down low whoosh, they pack it on again every and when you're tired I told you I I can't I can't <laughs> I had a hard time resisting and then you needed a little bit of sugar to like psh, pick you up because I didn't have a very, very big breakfast that morning. Um, they had chorizo, that Saturday morning, they had chorizo and egg with beans. And if I have the beans, that's going to hurt my stomach. So I had very, very little. And so I'm sitting there going, oh my God, I had candy. I did. I had some candy, no big deal. And so I realized that, you know what, if I worry about this, I'm not going to take all this stuff in. And that's what I did. After a while, it wasn't free for all because I, I couldn't because of my stomach issues. But it was more like you do your best and you enjoy the people you're with. And so the very last night on Saturday night, a beautiful, beautiful dinner. But it was meat. It was uh, like a pulled, uh, maybe it was pulled pork or something. But uh, it was in a bed of rice. It was like mixed in and then beans again. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I didn't eat the beans, but I did have the rice and the pulled pork, but I did okay. I did okay. And uh, when I got home, guys, um, 
we had the family show up and in my family, my husband and my son Evan showed up. I was shocked. I didn't know that that was going to happen and to see them out there. And then I had to speak and everything. So it was just, yeah, overwhelming. And by the time it was all said and done, I was so, so tired. I was really, really tired. And I wish I didn't have to drive home. I was so tired. But uh, my husband obviously came in his car that day, Sunday. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I told him, he says, are you hungry, honey? And I said, I am hungry and I am really, really tired. It was, you guys, not just the lack of sleep, but just the overwhelming, you know, feelings. <clears throat> but it was something I would do again in a heartbeat. I would do again in a heartbeat. It was amazing. But now that I know what to look for, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, well, you do get asked to volunteer. So I may do it. <clears throat> I guess it's in March. I, I may do it. So there's that. And so I had canes. I had raising canes. So hubby was, I was, hubby, I was following hubby home. And then hubby geared, geared off to the canes right when we got closer to home. And I just went home, came home, took a shower ate my canes and I think I was knocked out. My girlfriend called me last night and I said, she was so tired. I was so tired. She goes, I just want to make sure you're okay. Cause it is overwhelming after. And I said, thank you. I go, I am overwhelmed. So that's why we talked this morning. Now we're going to get into the weigh in and then I'll let you guys go. Um, I had my canes yesterday. I ate, I had a, I don't know. Was it a four? Or five? I think it was like a seven piece meal strip, double fries. I don't eat the bread. I don't have the coleslaw. I can't have the coleslaw. It hurts my stomach. So I don't eat the bread and I don't have the coleslaw. So I had seven strips and double fries, right? But we share, my husband and I share, but he got his own meal and I was like, oh, okay. So I had two strips, a little bit of fries, and then I was done. My husband said I knocked out. So I knocked out. And then when I woke up, it was only 7.30 and I was hungry. So I finished the rest. <laughs> so I had, I had that whole thing. Anyway, here's my wing. So we're up. What is it? 187. Cause I did it this morning. 187.6. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 1.2 pounds up. But that is good. That is okay, you guys. That is okay. I already had breakfast. I had eggs and bacon this morning. So for right now, I'm back on it. And I say for right now is because the reunion is next Sunday. I think it is Sunday or Monday of next week. Again, you do the best you can. Okay. So that's it, guys. That's it. I will let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy. I thought I would do it this way. And uh, yeah. We'll see you on my next one. Okay, I think I'm gonna go take a nap though first because I'm still pretty tired. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. This is what you got me saying.